day, students. I am Mrs. Jai Semiadepeju, your economics teacher. I shall be taking you through industries in Nigeria. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Define plant, firm, industry, and industrialization. 2. Mention types of industries. 3. State the roles of industrialization in economic development. 4. Mention problems of industrialization in Nigeria. 5. Explain the strategies of industrialization in Nigeria. What is a plant? A plant is a building or place where production process takes place or where goods are produced. It usually belongs to a firm and an example is Coca-Cola plant firm. A firm is a business unit that carries out production and distribution of goods under the same management or administration. It is an independently administered business unit which has ability and capability of carrying out production and distribution. Examples of firms are USC Nigeria Limited, Unilever Nigeria PLC, and others. Industry. What is an industry? An industry is defined as a group of firms producing similar products under different administration. Examples of industry is petroleum industry, which comprises of different firms, such as Total, Mobi, Ohando, and others. Industrialization. Industrialization is a process by which an economy is transformed from primarily agricultural or resource-based economy to one based on the mass manufacturing of goods. It is the development of industries in a country on a wide scale and requires the establishment of many firms which are capable of producing goods and services. It is usually associated with increase in total volume of goods, income, and standard of living of people of a country. Types of industry. The following are the types of industry. Number one, manufacturing industry. Manufacturing industry involves in the activities which turns raw materials into consumer or industrial goods using special machines and equipment. Examples of manufacturing industry include textile industry, plastic industry, and others. Number two, mining industry. Mining is an example of primary production. It is concerned with the extraction of mineral resources from the soil and sea. It produces raw materials for manufacturing industries. Examples of mineral extracted are copper, limestone, gold, crude oil, and others. Number three, construction industry. This type of industry engages in the construction of buildings, roads, bridges, ships, and other infrastructures. It is also concerned with the assembling of different components to get a finished product, such as car assembly plant, boat or ship building, aircraft 
construction, and others. Thank you for listening. When we come back after this short break, we shall continue with the types of industry. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We shall continue with types of industry. Number four, processing industry. This type of industry is concerned with the transformation of raw materials into finished products that can be consumed directly to satisfy human wants. Number five, power and energy industry. The power and energy industry is concerned with the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity from different sources. Example is Power Holding of Nigeria, PLC, PHCN. Roles of industrialization in economic development. Industrialization plays vital roles in the economic development of nations in the following way. Number one, increase in national income. Industrialization allows countries to make optimal use of their scarce resources. It increases the quantity and quality of goods manufactured, which makes a larger contribution to the gross national product. Number two, increase in standards of living. Industrialization raises the standard of living of people because higher productivity increases the volume of goods and income of individuals. The rise in income raises the standard of living for ordinary people. Number three, employment opportunities. Industrialization provides employment opportunities in small and large scale industries for the unemployed, thereby increasing income in the society. Number four, infrastructural development. Establishment of an industry in a place stimulates the development of infrastructural facilities like road, electricity, pipe bone water, and others. Number five, technological development. The level of technology is developed through industrialization. Modern and sophisticated equipment are produced through rigorous research. Number six, manpower development. Human power development is a major tool of industrialization. It provides opportunity for training and upgrading of skilled labor force. Problems of industrialization in Nigeria. The following problem limits the level of industrial growth in Nigeria and West Africa as a whole. Number one, inadequate capital. Capital needed for sustaining and expanding industries are not available. Access to finance and loans is very difficult, and this tends to limit industrial development. Number two, shortage of raw materials. Lack of sufficient raw materials available to industries in that large-scale production some industries in West Africa depend heavily on imported raw materials. Number three, political instability. Frequent changes in government, wars, and political disturbances in many West African countries make the environment not conducive for industrialization. Number four, Inadequate skilled manpower. Skilled manpower needed for high industrial growth is inadequate in Nigeria. Five, poor government policies. Government policies are not consistent. 
Certain policies towards industrialization do not encourage industrial growth. Number six, poor infrastructural facilities. No meaningful industrial development can take place in a country where there is no regular electricity supply, lack of good roads, bad port facilities, and poor communication system. When we come back after this short break, we shall consider industrialization strategies in Nigeria. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last stage of this class. Let us discuss strategies of industrialization in Nigeria. In the quest for industrialization in Nigeria, different industrial strategies have been implemented. These strategies include the following. Number one, import substitution strategy. Two, export promotion strategy. Three, small and large scale development strategy. One, import substitution strategy, ISI. It refers to domestic production of manufactured goods for domestic market. It involves processing of raw materials and setting up of manufacturing factories to produce locally manufactured goods, which were originally imported by a country, thereby saving the country from excess importation of goods. This strategy ensures the principle of self-reliance. Advantages of import substitution strategies. One, it helps to supplement importation. Two, it encourages self-reliance. Three, it promotes the objective of employment opportunity. Four, it is a form of direct investment. Five, a lot of money will be saved in foreign exchange by the government. Disadvantages of import substitution strategy. One, it leads to unemployment because the use of capital intensive method for production will render some laborers jobless. Two, it leads to inequality in income distribution. Export promotion strategy. Export promotion strategy is a strategy in which industrial efforts are concentrated on products that can be sold in the world market or for export. Governments can do this through the granting of tax concessions, reducing export duty, providing assistance on export costing and pricing and others. Advantages of export promotion strategy include 1. It leads to diversification of the economy so that many products are produced and exported. 2. It leads to increase in foreign exchange earning. 3. It creates employment opportunities. 4. It helps to solve balance of payment problem. 5. It leads to increase in production of goods. Disadvantages of export promotion strategy. 1. Domestic needs are neglected. 2. Improper utilization of resources. Number 3. Small and large scale development strategy. Governments can also encourage the development of small and large scale industries with the aim of developing industrial sector in the economy. Small scale strategy lays emphasis on the establishment of small manufacturing outfits which produces in small quantities 
and control small proportion of market. Small scale industries are set up in rural areas to reduce the imbalance of the rural urban areas, provide employment to rural people and to prevent rural urban migration. Large scale strategies encourages the establishment of large scale industries, which produces large quantity of goods using specialized equipment. A lot of capital hardly is involved. Mass production of goods is encouraged and employment opportunity is provided for people. With this, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Till I come your way next time, revise what you have learned today and answer the following questions. One, define the following. A, firm. B, industry. C, industrialization. Two, outline the roles of industrialization in economic development of Nigeria. Three, give five reasons for low industrial growth in your country.